This year actually was kind of fun. This is the first year that I really wanted to try, put in some work, get in good shape. I actually went and talked to a real personal trainer. His name was probably Derek, I don't know. And uh, he's nice though. And uh, what he said was really cool, really interesting. He told me what a lot of people don't know is that just as important, if not more important than exercise, are supplements. And I was like, oh, all right. I think I can do supplements. Uh, so here's like a quick list of the supplements I've been taking to get in some all right shape. Uh, Adderall. And I really think that it's working, you know, because my feet stop sweating and I can't stop learning. So I think I'm ripped, I think I'm shredded. Uh, of course, the last part of that equation is nutrition. Uh, I actually went ahead, I got rid of my microwave, and I just thought, like, it'd be good, you know, get that bad, easy influence out of here, right? Uh, but I will say, I do feel like I'm cheating a little when I throw burritos in the dryer. It feels like I'm cutting corners, yeah. But that is me that smells nice, front row. That's me, yeah. Everyone's like, what is that? It's, it's me. Uh, burritos. Uh, it's, uh, I don't know, it's surprisingly expensive to get in great shape. It's like $1,000 an ab, I think. I did the math. And uh, it's been nice, though. It's been nice. Things have been working out for me. Actually, I've been pretty financially stable. Had some real work and stuff over the last year. I think financially, my low point was uh, about two years ago, a friend called me up, and he was like, hey, you want to do something tonight? You seem sad. And uh, <laughs> I was like, no, I can't do shit. I'm broke. I have no, I can't, no. Like, like, unless you want to come over and drink water. <laughs> no. There's no, hey, what are you doing this weekend? Oh, I don't know, I'll probably pay rent with a credit card and go back to sleep. Yeah, that's, that's what getting turned is. I'm getting turned. yeah. My friend was very kind, though. He's like, you know what you need to do? You need to make a vision board. And I was like, of course. Of course I do. I'd be crazy not to literally try anything at this point. So he came over and helped me. We got together, we both made vision boards. I cut out pictures of things that I wanted and I glued them to a bigger piece of paper. <laughs> that way the universe knew. Or whatever, I don't know what the science, I don't know what the science is, but uh. But then we got back together and I saw my friend's vision board. And it was covered in like Ferraris and guitars and mansions. And mine was like soap and fruit. <laughs> My friend was like, I'm not sure, but I think your vision board's a grocery list. Some things you should probably sort out. And I said, I'm sorry, I'd love to get blown by a Ferrari, whatever yours means, but right now I'm just dirty and hungry. That's small goals, you know. I don't know, it was nice to get a real job. I felt kind of deceived, to be honest, like trying to get a real job. I, I remember growing up as a kid, there's this like, this kind of threat that if you ever tried to dine and dash and you got caught, what would they do, you know? Put you to work, right? Maybe have you wash some dishes, learn a good lesson the hard way, right? But now I'm like 30 and the job market was terrible. And so I was just going to fancy restaurants and eating. And then when they bring me the check, I'd be like, oh, no. <laughs> I guess I work here now. <laughs> All right, hey, cool. Hey, they like, slide me the check and I slide back over my W-2 and availability. It's like, that's what you're gonna get from me. I'm a team player, I take criticism well. Do we get dental? My teeth hurt. It hurt. <laughs> oh, that's fun. I, uh, I recently stumbled upon a group of men on the internet who are angry. Uh, they are, they're angry that they were circumcised when they were children because it was not their choice. Because they were children. And at first, I laughed. Yeah, I did what you all just did just now. I laughed, I went, oh, yeah, sure. But then I thought about it, I gave it some real deep thought, and sadly, I think I am one of those guys. I think I am, like, honestly, I thought about it, and like, I'm mad. I'm, mad. I'm furious. I'm pissed that I had my foreskin removed when I was a baby. You know, cause like that's, 
where all the flavor is. I don't know, maybe, probably not. I don't know, I'm just... I'm just saying, I've never been at a Popeye's thinking like, well, the skin really ruined this chicken. I'm like, no, it's great. Give me, give me something to chew on, you know? No, 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 no. Listen, if you didn't like that, that's fine. It's not going to change the fact that I have 800 shirts and hats to sell after this show that say, give me something to chew on. A lot of merch. It's how I feed my wife and nine kids. So I'm going to need your help need your help. It's hard to joke about something like that and look the way I do. It feels a little tense. It does feel a little carbonated in here. I'm sorry. Uh, so two quick things I'd like to address before I continue. Uh, number one, I have a mustache right now. Number two, I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> Clean slate. Here we go. Uh, no, actually, I, I think I secretly enjoy having a mustache right now because I feel like having a mustache is such a dumb, loud choice to make that I've noticed a lot of odd support amongst other mustached people, usually men and uh, and I know that this is true I know this is totally true because what happened is I had a giant beard and I shaved into a mustache, I didn't grow a mustache I'm not a creep, I didn't grow I had a beard and I shaved I didn't grow, a, I'm not a bad person I didn't grow I had a beard, I shaved, I didn't grow, I'm not like a villain. I'm not an, an awful human, you know, who grows a must, what, what sick son of a bitch grows, a um, who literally every day is like, mmm, today it's longer. I would never do that. Yeah, exactly, you're shaking your head, no, no, never. I'm a nice young man, I would never do that. Uh, but the day that I shaved my beard into a mustache, I walked into a coffee shop and about 30 feet away, there's another young man, also with a mustache. And when he saw me, he did exactly this. He locked eyes and just went like this. He just went. <laughs> and that was it. That was the whole thing. This whole interaction. It's like he gave me the signal. And I don't know what it's for, and I think I'm an assassin now, is what I'm saying. <laughs> think I'm supposed to kill the president. It's me. I'm the one doing it. Man. I just miss the days when threatening to kill the president didn't just feel like pandering. What a weird bummer. You know, I tell that joke six years ago and I'm racist or a patriot, depending on where we're at. I don't know. Oh. oh. But now I tell it and everyone's like, nah, me too. Jesus. Do it. Um, I've been, uh, been microdosing. Thanks, yeah. I've been, uh, I've been microdosing sex for the last four years. No, I'm just kidding. I'm doing fine. It's okay. I'm just doing fine. I actually, uh, I have a girlfriend right now, and she is a Scorpio. Uh, but she's also a germaphobe. So, it means we have a lot of sex and it is not spontaneous at all. I don't know what foreplay looks like for most of you. For us, it's uh, clean sheets and then, uh, and then I sweep. And then I get my nails real clean and then I take a long shower by myself for about 30 minutes. And uh, then we get together and oh boy, some more cleaning. We do a lot of it, we clean a little bit more. I don't know, it's fun getting to travel together, getting to do this, she comes with me a lot, we stay in hotels, and it's funny because I have friends who are all kind of, they're kind of creeps about it, they're like, oh, you kids, staying in hotels, I bet you just tear that place apart. <laughs> oh boy, I can't imagine what goes on in that place. Jeez, you guys probably just ruined that place. What's that, housekeeping, get out of here, call FEMA, a sex tornado just flew through here. We need meals and packets or whatever. But the reality is, like, when you're both afraid of germs, having sex in a hotel is just a lot more like playing a naked game of the floor is lava. <laughs> well, it's like, oh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get, don't move. Don't, I'm gonna get you. I gotta make a trail of towels. Don't move. I'm gonna, stop moving. Stop. Let's have sex in the car. I cleaned it when we drove out here, so. 